for a guy that's yet to have his baby, I'm worried about not seeing my mates anymore. You certainly see less, but it's. Uh, I personally don't miss it so much because I think your priorities change, and then you, you tend to pick out like uh, key nights, and you have like small number of large nights rather than lots That's of media. You, you get on a bit quicker. You're certainly first one there. <laughs> People talk about the kind of sacrifices you make for having children. The one thing we both thought, and this sounds quite sad, was. Does that mean we can't go to pub quizzes anymore? <laughs> <laughs> it's the number one worry of the pregnant bloke. How, how much is life going to change? There was a moment in the friendships where they was quite rocky because you're kind of yeah. like you are kind of put to side very do 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 so yeah. violence going, but you kind of you are put to one side. For me, it's like I I've lost the appetite for going out a lot. The way the way I the way I went out before I was the dad, you know. Getting women pregnant is how you used to go. Yeah. <laughs> I find in six weeks something will just click and you you won't feel the need on a Friday night after work to go out with your mates. Uh, I'm, no, just I'm, not sure. I'm, not I'm not sure really about that. Really I'm not sure about that. <laughs> You're just not allowed. You, you, yeah. I, mean, I would agree. All my mates are out drinking and, and I want to be out drinking. But I had this, you know, obviously you, you want to be a good bloke, you want to be a good partner. So you're like, well, no, I'm not going to go out. But there's certain times where all of a sudden you, you, you lose all sense of you know, reasoning, and then all of a sudden you go out and uh, uh, a couple of drinks with the boys, and a couple of drinks turned into a, a lot of drinks, and then, you know, it wasn't until the last two months where I started to realise, actually, the baby is coming, and I do need to buck my ideas. I had the opposite problem, because all my mates have had kids, you know, about oh. 15 years ago, probably. But, um, yeah, I was kind of joining my... It was... Uh, my fear was that I would become as boring as they were. You know, it wasn't that I was uh, thinking I was losing mates. It doesn't have to be like that. It doesn't have to be like that, because... I don't know. Well, I'm only four weeks in, you know, and I've been out twice already. So, well, including tonight. <laughs> She's got it marked on the calendar, mate. That's your lot. That's it. But yeah, I don't want it to be like that. It's sort of stop the lance holidays, you know, you have your usual two weeks oh, right. lance holidays, don't you? In the Beta. summer. Yeah, or Beta, Magma, <laughs> or whatever. And that was, that was the first thing to stop, you know, it was like, oh, right, uh, well, Rather than go with the lads, we'll, we'll buy a pram. Brilliant, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I used to go out and get shit faced, like properly falling down, howling at the moon, show your ass at the moon. And you can still do that, but you just don't have a recovery period. And you never have that recovery period because you. Very little sympathy from the wife. Yeah, if you go out, right, and you try and, you know, one, have a hangover next day, and suddenly there's a two year old or one year old, yeah, whatever it is, jumping in your face at four or seven in the morning. Can't do it. Yeah. Like, for more informative, hilarious and interesting insights into pregnancy and birth, check out the full-length DVD, Being Dad, available at beingdad.co.uk.